Hello everyone. This is Mr. Soyok Patil. I am working as assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Adrao. Now we are going to discuss the subject CAD CAM. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the some definitions, and basics related with this CAD CAM, then the use of this CAD CAM application of this CAD CAM in the various fields applications. Then again, we discussed some benefits of this CAD CAM, use of this CAD CAM. Okay, and now in this lecture, we are going to discuss the introduction of the CAD. So first of all, we will discuss what is mean by CAD CAM. Okay, so therefore, this CAD CAM means it is the computer aided design and computer aided manufactures, which refers to use the computer softwares in both the designing as well as in the manufacturing processes so use of this computer in the design to create something to create some model then to analyze to optimize this model CAD CAM is basically used this technology first developed in automotive industries this CAD CAM technology is first developed in automotive industries and nowadays it is used in various industries Likewise, in textile, we can see here it is. It, it can be used in the textile. It can be used in the aerospace. Then also, it can be used in the medical field as well as various mechanical industries, like dye manufacturing industries. Then welding and cutting industries also. This CAD CAM can be used. Now we will see the importance of this CAD CAM in the industries. So first of all, we will see what is mean by CAD, how it can be used and utilized in the industries. Then we will see CAM. So CAD means this model helps to ensure that the product are products are products we are making is actually possible to be made with our process. So that means this CAD gives the use of this computer to create to model the components uh, as we need it okay then again we can ensure the failures of this exact created developed a model and also we can optimize accordingly so with the help of this computers or this CAD package we can analyze the component or analyze the model and the design stage itself and we can calculate or we can evaluate this stresses coming on this component the load the deflection of the component in the design stage and accordingly we can optimize the parameters of the components likewise their size shape okay so likewise we can optimize the components so while performing these operations this CAD package can helps us then CAM. This CAM simulates the actual manufacturing process and helps to make a few decisions regarding tool, tool wear, etc. Again, we can say this CAM means the computer aided manufacturing. So, in this, the computers are used while controlling the operations, perform the various operations at the accuracy level. Okay. Then again, to check this tool, tool wear. Then again to control the path of the tool also this CAM softwares are used. Then again in complex systems like satellite system here we can see satellite system is a complex or complicated system subjected to many of the forces okay, where in such applications we cannot test this uh, all the systems physically. Okay, So therefore we have to check all the systems in the CAM, CAD CAM software package only ok so the number of forces or the amount of force coming on this system or this component in such a in such cases also this CAD CAM helps then some forces we can see acting on the object in simulation and we can change accordingly in the design so this again CAD CAM facilitates us to perform this analysis as well as this simulation operation. So in this simulation operation 
we can see the object how it is performing and where these forces are coming where the deflection is occurring so that we can see in the simulation and according accordingly we can change the design modification or we can change the design so again it saves the calculation time it gives near to perfect results as well as so this CAD CAM helps to perform these operations with less time and it helps to get the better results as, as or accurate results also now we will see the benefits of this CAD CAM package as we know in any new product design and development process we cannot produce this complete component design in one step that means we have to perform number of operations or number of iterations and number of times we have to modify or we have to change the design parameter design shape size so it's a continuous process and it needs number of iterations number of design changes will made at any stage that means in the we can see here in the design stage then during the analysis stage here we can see then in the process planning and control then in the production and manufacturing of this product okay so during all these stages we have to make certain changes so and we cannot avoid the changes during all these stages but when we perform a sequential process that means when we design a component then we will go for this analysis we then analyze this component then go for this process planning then control plan and control after that go for this production okay and product after production inspection and packing when we follow this sequential process the cost of the component would be increased like for example we will see here during this design stage the cost of this component would be x okay but when we perform certain analysis per operations on this component so cost would be increased by some amount delta x so the cost at this in analysis stage is x plus delta x again when we go for this process planning some cost will be incurred here and this cost would be x plus delta x plus delta x likewise in the final stage production stage also some costs will be incurred but when we use an integrated package so we can change the necessary design uh, changes in this during this design stage only we can perform this analysis we can perform this process planning and control we can perform this production or manufacturing operations in this design stage only and we can control all these parameters all these constraints in the first design stage itself so therefore this cost occurred in these various stages we can reduce so cost would be less in this integrated approach and this CAD will help us to reduce this cost then we will see the introduction to the CAD so therefore CAD gives the computers are used to assist the assist creation then modification analysis or optimization of a design this computer CAD software packages gives or uh, helps us to create modify and design the components the CAD software use is, is used to increase the productivity of the designer and to improve the quality of the design so we can modify we can make certain changes required in this design very easily with the help of this CAD package so therefore as well as uh, we can because of this use of these computers so we can create or accurate and good quality designs so this CAD gives us few of these features here so that is the computer edit drafting we can use these computers to draft something to draw something okay to so draw 
design drawings then computers can be used in assembly okay computer aided assembly uh, as we heard about this design for manufacturing and assembly okay so in this this computers are used for assembly okay to make this assembly very easier then also computers can be used in this analysis also then to, in order to perform this various analysis like structural analysis thermal analysis fluid flow analysis okay the computers are used similarly the computers can be used in optimization as well as so in order to perform this parameter optimization the shape optimization topology optimization in combinatorial optimization to perform these optimization operations in this cad so we can use this computer then we will see the features of this cad package so this cad package gives many of the features likewise geometric modeling feature then editing or manipulation feature the display control features drafting features programming facilities analysis features and connecting features we will see one by one in detail the first geometric features geometric modeling features in this geometric modeling features so there are again many features are available in this cad package like with geometric construction the 2d analytical features 3d wireframe modeling features 3d solid modeling features the surface modeling features assembly features are also available in the cad package okay so in the geometric construction so again different coordinate systems the cartesian coordinate system the polar coordinate systems are also provided in this cad package then absolute and incremental dimension different types of dimensional systems are also provided in the cad package then different units are also available in this package that is si unit mks units and other uh, standard units are also available that we can use very easily then grid and snap facility is also provided in this various cad packages then similarly geometric uh, similarly geome uh, to this geometric construction 2d analytical features likewise we can plot points we can plot a line here we can draw a arc with two points and a radius we can draw a arc with center point and radius or we can draw a arc with three points we can draw circle then splines also we can plot with the help of this 2d analytical features so all these are available in this cad package likewise again 3d wireframe modeling features are also provided in this cad package that means 3d lines 3d faces ruled surfaces rotational sweep are easily available in this cad package similarly the surface modeling feature is also provided in this cad package this we have to design or we have to design some components by using this surface modeling features likewise as we seen in this automobile industries this automobile size or uh, sorry automobile shape front shape is designed with this help of this surface modeling this it should be able to generate various types of the sculptured surfaces as a bezier curves b spline curves okay by using these various curves we can generate this surface and we can model this component with the help of this surface modeling features then again solid modeling features are also given in this cad package that is we can draw a block we can plot a cylinder sphere cone prism etc etc directly easily and directly we can plot with the given size and shape with the given dimensions similarly assembly feature is available in the cad package so surface filtering and trimming so we can assemble the components then second editing and manipulation features then in this editing or manipulating the existing models at any stage of the product design is possible so the when we produce or when we design a component in this cad so again we need to edit or we need to modify the existing design component so therefore here few of the features are provided that means the transformation feature 
then to alter the existing drawings back means by straight stretching trimming undo delete erase then some symbol features are also provided okay then in this transformation features we can translate the component or model we can rotate scale mirror copy etc translate translate means we can move one object from this position to this position okay then rotate rated rotate means we can rotate a component by a certain angle alpha or certain angle theta then similarly scale we can enlarge the scale or we can reduce the scale of the designed component very easily we can use the mirror option also this mirror is given in uh, provided in the cad package so we can if we want to draw a similar component in the left side and as well as in the right side okay so we can draw we have to draw one view or in the left side and we can mirror the same component in the towards the right side here so that's mirror copy is also available in this cad package to alter the existing drawing that means stretching stretching means we when we draw when we draw a line here and we want to join this line with this another object we can use stretching also then trimming facility is also available we can trim the unnecessary lines or unnecessary drawings components the undo facility is also provided in this cad package if we want to if we did some certain operation okay and if we want to cancel it then undo facility is also provided then delete facility delete feature is also provided if we want to delete the existing component design component we can delete it erase is also provided in the cad package okay that we will see in detail in the next video then certain display control features are also provided in the cad package to provide a user friendly interface with effective visual characteristics following display character features are given in the software package so window zoom pan hidden animation shading are the different features provided in the cad package so window means to identify a set of entities for editing the functions it is displayed on this screen zoom means to change the scale of display of the object that means we can zoom in and zoom out means we can enlarge the component or we can reduce the size of the component to see the clear understanding of the or to see the clear object view then pan is also provided to make the object on the screen without changing the scale so to move sorry to move the object on the screen without changing the scale so we can move this object from this position to this position on the computer screen with help of this pen then hidden to remove some hidden lines or surfaces for viewing this geometry then again some constructional lines then some dimensional lines we can hide this in the drawings also we can hide some surfaces to see this geometry or to clear understanding of this geometry then animation some animation features are also provided in this cad package to display the number of images and in sequence to initiate sorry to imitate the crucial motion this animation is also provided with the help of this animation we will get a clear idea about the uh, clear idea about the the stress then the clear idea about the future component future things of this Uh, design component the shading is also provided to show the 3d view of this image on the screen the complete and shade as it appears on the image then also to add to provide this hatching as well as this features are given in the cad package now we will see few animation videos here so this is the animation of this crash list so we can see when this vehicle is imparting on this object so here crash test is carried out so in this animation we can see this deflection the stress is coming on this part component we can analyze in this cad package only 
similarly in this simulation of this forging of this component okay so initially this blank is provided or initially when we plot a blank design a blank here and when we perform this operation here so we will get this results final results of this simulation okay so this facility is avail also available in the CAD package then fourth feature is drafting features so there are different drafting features like 2d and 3d drafting features are also provided in the CAD package okay then along with this drafting features drafting tools the different dimension types such as linear angular radius circular baseline some limit dimensions are also provided in this CAD package then in the features get better visualization of the model or object also this different drawing features are provided similarly some programming features are also provided in the CAD package so programming facility allows us the user to perform specially for an application when we design a particular component or particular a system for that particular application for that particular system we have to perform this programming okay so therefore this programming facility is provided in this CAD package this program helps us to input the least amount of the information for any required design and with the help of these programs we can modify the designs very easily then analysis feature in the modeling features the package should have many analysis features and facilities such as calculation of the area value mass moment of inertia center of gravity so uh, after designing this any component or any system we have to perform this analysis so uh, while analyzing this design component we have to calculate different parameters okay like with area value mass moment of inertia then we have to calculate the amount of stress deflection the type of the stresses or the location of the stress or deflection where it is occurring okay so that we have to perform that we have to calculate so this this is possible with the help of this analysis feature in the CAD package in, in FME, FEA the mod the developer model is converted into finite element mesh and all the required data are calculated for the analysis this required data we can calculate with calculate with this finite element and analysis softwares now some of the drawing features available in the CAD we will discuss some of the drawing features available in the CAD software so first of all scaling scaling means it is the transformation used to change or again we can say the scaling can be used to scale at the component or object that means we can increase the scale of this object or we can reduce the scale without altering the shape okay so we can change the scale then also rotation rotation means when we draw when we made a design or a drawn here component here and we want to rotate it by a certain angle here theta okay so we can rotate this object to this position to this position so this moment of an object in such a way that the distance between the certain fixed point and any given point of the body it is possible with this rotation feature then translation then translation means moving an object across the screen from one position to another position so we can move this object from this position to this position this translation feature is provided we can move very easily the editing feature editing means changes the properties of the specific object by editing commands or package we can edit this drawing very easily in this CAD package this editing command is also provided then labeling next next it is labeling it should be labeled for better documentation and reference so as this designed components we can store very easily okay as well as we can prepare this documentation by plotting uh, by using some power plotters and printers 
and we can prepare documentation as well as okay labeling is also available then pan it moves this drawing display along the direction of the mouse sweep so that means we can move this object from this position to this position or any other position without uh, changing the dimensions and size of this component then redraw facility is available then regenerate is also available in the scatter package regenerate means the entire drawing from the current viewport it is possible with this cad package then dimensioning feature is also provided in the cad package that means when we plot or when we draw something in the scatter then uh, then we can provide the dimensions to the entities that we drawn in the cad so linear dimensions are also we can provide linear dimensions we can provide aligned dimensions we can provide radius dimension the angular dimensions also we can provide in the drawing then zoom facility is also provided zoom means magnifying a portion of current drawing on the screen so if we want to see the object in detail so this zoom facility is provided now in this lecture we seen the basics related with this cad cam the basics related with this cad the various features available in the cad thank you thank you so much